Hello there Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we have a timeless reading for you. This is all about you. Messages for the past, present, future. Messages for things that are going on right now. Whatever basically that the universe spirit wants to convey to you at this moment. So trust if this video has found you then there's a purpose. There is a reason. So uh, let's have a look and see what we've got coming out for you. You guys first. So we have the Woodwives energy and this is about adaptability. We've got beloved radical acceptance and we have dances on one foot. There's the Woodwives card right there. We've got the beloved card right there as well and dances on one foot bringing in uh, some balance. All right so some of you your key to moving forward to creating change to evolving in a way that you want is going to really be key to be balanced, to be flexible, to be adaptable, to open your heart, to accept what is, what was, and what shall be. Because there's certain things that have occurred, certain things occurring now and what will occur in the future, certain things are already set in motion for you. There's things that are meant to happen, meant to occur for some, you know, some of them are wonderful and they're joyous and they're exciting. Others are challenging. They're part of life lessons that we need to learn. But part of being in the flow of the universe and part of um, really understanding things or dealing with things in a more positive and maybe even efficient kind of way, we've got to roll with the punches. We've got to roll with the good, to roll with the bad and to see our way forward. So you're being very reminded here that balance is the key. Have a look with dances on one foot. Some of you, you're out of alignment right now. You've got a lot going on as a lot of people do. You may be giving too much of yourself to other people and not spending enough time with yourself or not taking care of your own personal needs or not embracing your personal goals, right? When we look externally to things or when we're living too much external outside of ourselves, we do get out of alignment, out of balance. So you're being encouraged here um, to recognize those areas in your life or those situations, circumstances, maybe even people that are, you know, really not in a balanced and harmonious place. What can you do to change that? Can you fix it? Can you heal it? Do you need boundaries? Do you need to say no once in a while? Do you need to depart a situation? The answer always lies within you. The dances on one foot energy is card number nine. It does relate back to the hermit card. The hermit card is a solitary energy invoking you to spend some time alone and quiet solitude and to do that little bit of soul searching. What lights my path forward? Where do I want to get to? what is good for me and what do I need to do to get there what is my first step quite often the first step is the best with the adaptability energy right go with the flow be flexible be open be adaptable right we've got radical acceptance with the beloved heart right there and you know sometimes accepting certain things really is the key because it helps us to release I accept what has happened. I accept that I needed to learn this lesson. Or I accept that there are certain situations, certain people around that I cannot change. And this leads back to the serenity prayer. In uh, If any of you are familiar with that, um, if not, look it up. Um, I don't want to butcher it because I don't actually have the, I, I do have the whole thing memorized in my head, but if I try and say it out loud, I'll probably butcher it a little bit. But look up the serenity prayer, right? And it's really about accepting. And this brings us a little bit of peace. So let's get some more messages for you guys here. Thank you. We have your third chakra with Archangel Shamuel, the door to spirit opening for you right there in a wonderful way, beautiful. And we've got your fifth chakra with Archangel Gabriel. So there's a lot 
that is shifting for you. You are going through a period of radical transformation, radical change, and this is where that radical acceptance comes in. This is where we need to find a little balance and harmony in our lives so that we can fulfill our destiny, so that we can evolve in a really positive way or that we can really connect with ourselves in the universe on a higher level because the door to spirit is open for you. Messages coming your way. You're becoming a little bit more aware that there's things outside of your current um, belief system, your current environment. There's something beyond, something is calling to you. Something is saying, follow the signs that you've been given. Follow the guidance that you've been given. Your intuition is guiding the path and showing you the way. Are you going to choose to follow that? You're being very encouraged right now. This door to spirit is very wide open, bringing you peace and harmony and healing, bringing you enlightenment. And really is helping you to see the big picture. It's an awakening of sorts. So when the door to spirit opens, there's usually some lessons that we learn. We gain some wisdom and understanding. But there is also some focus that we need. Archangel Shamuel can help you. Work with Archangel Shamuel and Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel gives you your voice blue energy, your throat chakra. Speak your truth. Speak something into existence. Communication is the key. There's communication. Communication works both ways, right? Both incoming and outgoing. Ask and you shall receive. Communicate with your spirit angels, guides, whatever you're drawn to. Even if you're not drawn to anything specific, communicate with an open room. Whatever spirit is listening and around you right now. But you're also receiving messages here as well, right? Ask, you shall receive. Ask for a sign. Ask for help. Ask for assistance. It's coming here. It is a free flowing energy and a free flowing communication. But spirit is sending you messages and symbols at this time. You might be seeing, receiving, receiving numbers or you might be seeing repeating numbers. Thank you very much. There's my throat chakra. Um, you could be seeing shapes in the clouds. Maybe a song comes on the radio um, and you might hear the lyrics in a certain way for the first time, even though if you may have heard that particular song 20 times over and it's just something in one day just clicks. Maybe you're hearing the same song over and over and over again. Part of the way that angels communicate is through song, is through music. Music can lift our vibration and help clear our energy. So perhaps you're being called to uh, work with things like um, binaural beats and a certain megahertz, right? Um, you know, certain frequencies, right? They might be your key to clearing chakras or to help you to awaken your third eye, your crown chakra, right? All of that, right? So you might be called in that direction. So pay attention to any signs and messages that you are receiving. You're not dreaming them. Uh, they are real, okay? It's not a figment of your imagination, right? And those messages are unique to you. But it's all about communication. And so work with your blue, work with your throat chakra, and work with Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Shamuel can really help you to gain confidence and gain strength and believe in yourself. Right. Your confidence is growing. Recognize your personal power to change, to start something new. This is where you get a little bit of courage here. So work with your work with your archangels because they are very much helping you move towards the light. You are part of the chosen people here, Saji. All right. You are part of, you know, the. You are part of the tribe here on earth that is going to light the way, light the path for other people to follow. You are part of this Pluto and Aquarian energy for the next 20 years, a period of enlightenment and growth, a period of radical change, right? But you are a leader and people will follow you even if it's accidental. 
So embrace your personal power, embrace your energy, and embrace your growth. Page of Cups. We've got a little bit of spiritual awakening there for you. The Two of Cups. Two of Swords. Queen of Cups. Look at all of this heart energy and the Queen of Wands. A lot of heart and a little bit of fire. Bottom of the deck. We've got the Ace of Cups here for you. Now the Aces do bring gifts from the universe. The Aces bring new beginnings. The Ace, the Ace of Cups is like the holy grail of our emotions. This can be the seed of something new, a new beginning, a new spiritual path for you. This can bring in a healing energy where you open your heart and you step into the flow. You release resistance. Um, this is a forgiving energy here as well. Acceptance puts us into the flow. Some of you may be stepping into a period where you're feeling fresh and new. You're on a new journey. You don't know where it's going. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how things are going to transpire. But this phase of your life is filled with magic, love, laughter, perhaps some healing. But a little bit of mystery is unfolding for you. So it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. This is a time when you can really manifest things into your life, where you can restore balance and harmony. And this is also where you can focus on yourself, your own personal happiness. And again, we, we quite often do because it's part of human nature. We quite often look externally for happiness and joy when in actual fact it starts within. So I feel like you're stepping forward in a path, you're shedding some of the old and you're learning how to be happy and maybe you're even simplifying your life in some way. And this is all part of your spiritual journey, part of your spiritual growth. But some of you are manifesting new love into your life here as well, especially with the Ace of Cups. It's a gift from the universe. This can be a very spiritual connection. It can be a soulmate connection for you. Um, this can be a new friend. A new romantic interest. This can be where through your personal growth and your acceptance of things and you um, getting things back uh, into a state of harmony, this can be where you can evolve in a relationship that you already have. But there is some new energy coming in here. So it's either leveling up or welcoming in. And as we do evolve, as we grow, as we change, we do tend to broaden our horizons and connect with people that are on the same page as us, that are emanating with the same frequency that we are operating at. And it's just part of the normal um, growth process, awakening process, if you will. But this can be a time when you're also getting very creative. Right? Is there something you want to create? Is there something that you're really passionate about? Something that inspires you? Something you want to learn? Right? The Queen of Wands. Something that's uniquely you. Something that lights a fire in your soul. What is that for you? Maybe you want to learn to paint or to draw. Perhaps, especially since we've got your throat chakra here, perhaps you are inclined to start journaling. Or write a book. Maybe you want to read a little bit more. There's a lot of ways that we can be creative or we can create something, even if we're creating a life that brings us happiness, joy, and pleasure. That's not necessarily perfect because, well, that would probably be boring and that's probably not our life path, but something that's uniquely yours. Find new sources of inspiration, believe in yourself, and focus on your path forward, your goals, your dreams. It doesn't mean that anyone, it doesn't mean that you can't have anyone part of that because you absolutely can. The people um, and the environments that we put ourselves in can really enhance our current situation. But be true to who you are. Be true to yourself. But the Page of Cups, you could be getting some sort of surprise in the near future. This can represent a reconciliation. This can represent new people coming in. Or it can represent a sense of balance and harmony. We do have the Two of Cups here with that Page of Cups. 
And the page of cups quite often does bring in a little bit of awakening for you or taking the next step leveling up in some way. The two of cups can represent you coming into a sense of balance and harmony within yourself. This is where you connect with your higher self, with your heart, with your soul. And this is where things start to come into alignment for you. But we have to trust it. Because the two of swords that comes in shows that sometimes we are looking at things too logically. Sometimes we have some difficult decisions to make. Sometimes we're not sure about our path. We might second guess it. We might doubt it. There may be things that we're seeing that we've got the blindfold on for, that we d are dismissive of some certain things. When we get the two of swords, it's important, number one, to have balance. If you have to make any decisions, weigh up your options, look at things from both points of view or from both sides. But the two of swords does bring decisions, does bring the balance a reminder of balance in our life because, I mean, you know, if we look at this one, right, we're not going to hold two swords up straight like that without things being in perfect alignment. But she's got a blindfold on. We don't need to look externally for our answers, for our path forward, for the solutions, for the wisdom. It's all within. So again, go internally. What does your intuition tell you? What does your heart tell you? What feels right to you? Your answers all are within you, but we doubt ourselves, right? We doubt our processes. So trust yourself. When you're faced with a decision, when you're faced with a conundrum, or you're trying to figure out which path is right for you or what something means, go within. But we do have an evolution here. We do have the Queen of Cups. Right, We've got the Queen of Wands as well, so the Queen of Cups can bring in some healing, but also brings in a huge element of spiritual growth for you. You're growing stronger, more powerful, more aware every single day. You might doubt yourself every once in a while. You might question things, or you may feel, ooh, I'm a little bit alone, or I'm a little bit closed off from the world. Trust that it's part of your path right? A spiritual journey is quite often a solitary one. And even though we do kind of connect sometimes with people who are on a similar path or who are experiencing the same kind of things, our journey is always unique to ourselves. And then we do quite often connect with, you know, groups, spiritual groups and things. But they may not necessarily be long lasting connections. If you think of like Facebook groups, um, and things like that, it might be good for a short time, but maybe not a long time. And then you're leaving those situations, leaving those groups and finding someone else that you align with, right? Because we are ev evolving here, especially for you and your reading um, at a very quick pace. And so you could outgrow those connections, those groups really quite quickly, right? So take what you need contribute what you're meant to contribute and then if you're not feeling that it's a healthy environment for you or that it's beneficial to you in some way anymore then move forward on to the next one or maybe even for some of you none at all right you might be like nope you know what I'm trusting my journey I'm connecting with myself I'm connecting with my soul I'm connecting with my soul tribe and I don't necessarily need any outside influence. I don't need the outside help necessarily. I'm open to it should something present itself when it's meant to. But for some of you, it's a very solitary journey, especially with this Queen of Wands. It's like, I am unique. I am independent. I've got my path. And you know what? I don't need anyone else's influence on that. But this is all about getting yourself open here as well. Right, with the queen energy open and receptive and in your fully functional flowing state. It's a beautiful time for you. Embrace it. Seize the moment. It's your fiery side, your queen of wands, right? Embrace it. Run with it. Roll with it. Flow with it. And you'll be amazed um, what happens for you. But yes, this is a very powerful time for you. 
no matter what your situation is, but we do have to be a little bit focused on that balance and on that flexibility and acceptance in our life. Very, very key points right there. And if you look at your reading, you have three twos coming out. You've got beloved radical acceptance is number two. You've got the two of cups and the two of swords. So there might be something that you are recognizing, something that you're trying to decide, trying to determine, right? So trust your ability to make the right decisions. But two, two, two. Go and look up the deeper meaning of 222. Two, two. There's um, often multiple meanings associated with repeating numbers, but there will be something that clicks for you. There's a reason three twos are coming out here for you guys. Okay. Um, balance and harmony, yes. Partnerships, collaborative, collaborative energy comes out with the twos as well, but also decisions, right? Decisions, balance, harmony, teamwork, partnerships right? All important things. But twos also do resonate. Number 22 is a master, um, a master number reminding you that you have all the wisdom, the knowledge, the experience that you need from this lifetime and past lifetimes to make the right decisions, the right choices for yourself, whatever those look like to you. Do not live in the past. Look forward to the future and rejoice in the journey ahead. Very important for us. We do forget that sometimes. And again, it's all really moving forward and evolving for you. What goes around comes around. You can be blessed with some very wonderful gifts. And peace is just a thought away. Peace, harmony, forgiveness, healing, spiritual growth, love, happiness. You got all the right stuff here, Saggy. I've been asked to leave that there. I hope there was something in here that sparked something within you. If there was, please do consider hitting that like button on this video. It helps other people see it. It helps you to distribute it. So I truly do appreciate that. Free for you. Hit the thumbs up button. But leave a comment down below as well. What path are you on? Where are you experiencing growth? Where are you starting something new? Where are you changing? in your life. This is an exciting time for us all and other people can benefit from your experiences. So I thank you all very much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.